Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your HP LaserJet M140W on any smartphone, never mind iPhone or Android, and start using it in HP Smart application for printing and scanning. Let's get into it. For this example, let's assume that your printer is still not connected to any network. So you see this picture on the control panel, the Wi-Fi indicator is blinking, the warning indicator over here is off and the power indicator is glowing solid green. To set up the printer on smartphone, you need to install HP Smart application from App Store or Google Play Store on Android devices. So find this application, HP Smart, then open this app. On this screen, accept all terms and conditions or decline optional data. And now you can set up a new printer right away, but first I recommend you to sign in to your HP account or create one if you don't have, because without HP account you can't use all features of this application and it's really worth. So uh, let me skip the step of account creation, it's pretty easy, let me just sign in to my account and continue. So email password, sign in, allow to find devices on local networks, this is necessary, notifications are not necessary, I don't want to receive notifications, but this permission is what you need to grant to this application. Now tap on this message to remove it and add your first printer. So if your connection is new, tap on new printer. Uh, if you set up the connection on your computer before, tap on already connected to network and you will connect your printer just in one second. But we need to tap on new printer. After about 20 seconds, you're gonna see this screen, tap on Wi-Fi and continue. Continue once again, you don't need this screen, you already done everything you need. Make sure your smartphone is connected to Wi-Fi network not to mobile data and continue. Allow to find Bluetooth devices, this is also a useful feature. Uh, now your printer is found, tap on that and allow HP Smart to use location, yes. Uh, on this screen, wait for a while, wait until the network list appears here and select your Wi-Fi network. This printer can connect to 2.4 GHz band only or to two band networks. So select your 2.4 GHz network and enter your Wi-Fi password. And then tap continue. Uh, now you need to press Wi-Fi button on your printer. Just do it, press it once without holding. Allow HP Smart to join your Wi-Fi network, join. Now your printer is connected, tap continue. Now it's loading your HP account, but you don't have to uh, continue on this screen. Just wait for uploading this screen and enable auto update of, of your printer's firmware. It's recommended and I recommend you this as well. Tap on save. You can print a test page right away, but let's skip this. I will show you how to print later. Also, you can send link to install HP Smart on other devices. Let's skip this step for now, but in future install HP Smart on all devices you wish to use with this printer. So tap on yes in this window. And here we are, you're all set and you can start using this printer for printing and scanning. Also, if you have some issues on Android devices, if your phone can find your printer, uh, go to Play Store and install this app, which is named HP Print Service Plugin. This application helps Android devices to find HP printers. What you need to do is just open this application, uh, accept end user license agreement, tap on start, now swipe left to the end, and tap on install HP Smart and uh, this way your printer will be easily detected by your Android device. 
And let's finally print something. Just a quick reminder, you can't use these features in HP Smart Application if you don't have an HP account. So if you haven't logged in on the previous step, you will see create account icon at the bottom panel. So please create an account. Uh, and let's start using the printer. Actually, to print documents, you don't have to use HP Smart Application in time because uh, from this application, let's allow access to photos from this application you can print from your files and from cloud services if you connect some cloud services to this application but let's say you want just to print an email what to do in this case in this case you need to open your mail application select an email you wish to print let's say this one tap on three dots at the top right tap on print all it's creating print preview and now make sure your printer is selected in this drop down so select your hp laser jet uh, now select one of presets maybe you have some presets set up on your printer uh, adjust number of copies you wish to make range of pages you can print all of them or just deselect pages over here like this or set range manually in this field uh, now let's go back to options set your paper size it's a4 in my case i don't have to change anything here orientation upscale or downscale your document using this plus and minus buttons set media quality feed from you don't have to change anything here you have just only one paper tray select your media type this is plain paper uh, select your layout how many pages per sheet you wish to print up to 16 pages let's print two pages it will look like this now let's go back you can add border to your document and see your changes on the preview uh, in some reason if you needed some reason you can uh, flip your document horizontally and once you're done with your settings tap on print and wait for printer to do its job Yeah, we've got the result same as on our preview and let's move ahead. But if you want to scan a document, there is just no way around it without the HP Smart application. So what you need is select printer scan option, tap on that. Skip this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything in this video. Now let's place a document. To place it correctly, you need to align the top left corner of your document with the top left corner of the scanning surface. You have uh, a paper sheet icon here so you need to align corners like this and put your document facing down so align corners align the edges snugly with the borders of the scanning surface notice your paper size use these paper size markers as a guidance and close the scanning lid next in the application select what you're scanning photo document or batch of four photos and documents then tap on this drop down at the top of the screen and set your paper size or you can switch to entire scan area to adjust borders manually later set your scanning quality let's set to 300 dpi a color or grayscale tap on done to save your changes uh, now tap on this gear icon you can enable auto enhancements of color brightness and contrast of your images and enable auto orientation just as in case you've occasionally put the document upside down uh, then tap on down and scan now you you are in detect edges menu what you need here is drag the borders and corners to adjust edges of your document or you can set to auto but for this document it works not so good you can also tap on full to capture the full scan area and adjust borders manually then hit next and let's close this message and you can add new page to your document add multiple pages to add multiple pages just adjust your settings place the next document into the scanner and tap on scan or you can switch source over here switch to camera allow access to camera and add some camera scans to scan pictures with your camera you can take photos manually and then detect edges just like before or switch to auto mode at the top
over here and auto detect the edges of the documents like this you need to hold still and once the document is scanned you can replace it right away and scan the next one and this way you can scan a pack of documents just in a minute once you're done disable auto mode to sc stop scanning and then tap on this preview icon at the top right at the bottom right sorry and it takes you to the same menu now we have few pages in your document so you can reorder them tap on this button and drag and drop to reorder your pages cancel or done also you can rotate pages you can select pages you wish to rotate and tap on this button to rotate them together done once you're done and also uh, in the top right of each page you can see this menu three dots you can replace delete page or edit it you can crop your document to a standard size or custom cropping tap on done once you're done adjust colors brightness and contrast and so on apply filters add text add markup uh, enable auto enhancements for each page separately once you're done tap on done and when you finish your scanning you can print the document right away you can share or save use printing shortcuts or send mobile fax for this example let's just save our document to the file system select the file type for multiple page file you need pdf only uh, also you can save your scans like multiple images png tiff and heif this is apple file format uh, also you can rename document in this field like this hit return once you're done continue and now this is the standard iphone menu on android you will see something different like on android and tap on save to files select your file location documents and hit save and that's it that's how to scan using hp smart application now just tap on the back arrow and start new scan or just go home also this application has cool smartphone copy feature it works similar to camera scan feature with the difference that you can't save your document you can just print the document right away and one more thing to show you is how to enter the printer settings you just need to tap on the printer style at the top and here the settings are